Welcome. I have stumbled into probably the coolest part of uh, Pacificon, the late night, I guess it's around 8 o'clock, uh, QRP tag up. And this is a mock QSO for like a summits on the air QSO party. Everybody's on dummy loads, but everybody's bringing out their items. I got a Pico balloon behind me. I got Ed Fong over here holding court, talking about all their different stuff. Let's take a look at some of the radio creations we got. I have this little desperation. I just didn't understand. Well, he goes to all these boy transforms. I I gotta read it. When you finish this current QSO, we're done. We're gonna quit a little bit early. I think everybody's worked everybody. I <laughs> have <laughs> So I'll give you a minute or two to finish up. Why was that fun? It, uh, the the case is thirty dollars. The aluminum. Right. Right. The aluminum case is thirty bucks. That is cool. So you think that's uh, QRP guys? You'll they'll have that over there? Oh yeah, we have we have five hundred of them. Really? Here. Uh, you have them here? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, you got me real scared. I'm like, I'm. Where are they? I need to buy one. Where can I give you money? But, but we're gonna offer them. I, I've got to get a heart valve replaced. Oh my goodness. Okay. And 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 then I got about four or five weeks recovery after that. Sure. Beautiful idea, though. Greatly done. Nicely done. Any other colors? No, but but just just. I'm happy at blue. I know. I. I I love it. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Low Casal did a fabulous job. Yeah, that is really cool. Oh, I like that too. That's nice on the back there. I brought my QRP camera. <laughs> What, explain this again, what is this? This is a single frequency uh, 10 meter transmitter. 10 meter? Yeah, 28 uh, UCC 322 yeah. kilohertz. And it runs off of a coin battery that yes. you have. Yes, and this, what it is, is the uh, this uh, uh, oscillator, the computer clock. Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. So it produces a few milliwatts. And it can operate with three bolt. So mm -hmm. it's a three bolt coin, coin battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you made the these keys. You said dollar key. The, this is you can buy a whole bunch of these under a dollar piece. Mm -hmm. And this happens to be some. This is the erector set part. Mm -hmm. So are these. Right, 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 right. right you can see. This is something I picked up in the flea market. I don't know what this was for originally. And then you have but a side swiper. This is the, my, uh, the nasal spray. Yeah, nasal spray, yeah. <laughs> but what your, your crowning jewel is this. What, what is, can you, can you explain this too? Well, okay. The gut. Well, this is the, uh, what I call poor man's K, KH1. Uh -huh. KH1 does, it's a multiband and the, uh, uh, all contained, self-contained. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, with the, yeah, with the key. Now, and this is this a little radi radio? Radio, yeah. One of the very wonderful, uh, you know, radio that you can turn it on, then mm -hmm. you can stop transmitting right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. One problem. Mm -hmm. Big one. Yeah. Price tag. <laughs> <laughs> if 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 you add all the options, uh -huh. options include paddles, yeah. batteries, yeah. everything. It Tuner. costs over thousand dollars. Yes, yes, it does. Yeah. So I so I decided to make my own KH1 like thing portable. Thing. What is this antenna tuned so for? This antenna. This is old uh, coil. You so, have seen this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, this yeah. is something you pick up in the flea market. Yeah. This is uh, my medicine. Medicine. Yeah, but what what is this tuned for? What you have on this here? is uh, this works uh, twenty meter. Uh, twenty meter, very good. To, to se twenty and seventeen. Mm -hmm. I have another antenna which works for and this 17, is 15, 10. volume. Uh, no, this is the uh, this is where you get a radial wire. Oh, not here. The volume volume is in here. 
volume is built in here. Now, okay. the guts of this is mm -hmm. the true USDX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the high band. So this is. Oh, it's a high band modified. Yeah, yeah. 2017. Uh, yeah. 15, Very good. 12, Very yeah. ingenious. So the this is the uh, bamboo paddle. Yeah. And you have built in. nine volt, nine volt or in. twelve yeah. if you run on. Or a if you want an external, external, if you want a high power, meaning yeah. up to three to five volts. The high power. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So and this is the uh, uh, headphone. Uh, no, this is a twelve volt. Twelve volt. Yeah. Volt, yeah. And uh, what is the original body of this from? Oh, that's a good question. This is during Vietnam War. Yeah. This was called so-called command set. The, this is just a receiver, a VHS receiver. Oh. A commander issues a uh, order, mm -hmm. and a whole bunch of people in the group mm -hmm. listen to the same message. This is just a re VHS receiver, so I got it inside out and put the USDX. Now it's, it, USDX that didn't quite fit, so this is the reason why. Oh, uh, you had to hog it out a little my bit. Own. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the, the you know it it works very nicely. Yeah, it seems like it. That's very cool, Hiroki. That's a great project you made there. Thank you for sharing that with me. <laughs> Hiroki also built this loop antenna. Is this, oh, this one the stepping motor. No, no, it's not. It's yeah, a, yeah, the stepping motor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so what does he just you apply voltage? Well, what's interesting is he found that they track one on one. Uh huh. So that you know you don't you know the sophisticated ones take a reading and feedback. Right. But it turns out that this one tracks so well that he can put a cable here and tune it remotely. Oh. Because you can't tune one of these antennas close by because you affect it so Yeah, 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 you don't so want to be near it. Yeah, so it turns out that you didn't need a sophisticated controller. This yeah. thing was so accurate. Yeah. Hiroki's designs and tinkering is so good that even Ed Fong is here to uh, to take a look oh, yeah. at it. <laughs> this is the closest thing a ham radio operator can have to a pet, right? <laughs> Do you remember after the Chinese, there was a balloon up there, there was another balloon. Just All right. I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven contacts. Wow. Anybody beat eleven? Oh, wait, wait. You don't count.